Hi, it's Mark Gallucci with Digital Control Incorporated, here to bring you another training video. This video will focus on the Falcon F5's transmitter selection menu. It's the only menu that is noticeably different than that of the classic F5. So I'm going to use the thumb switch and thumb it down, thumb it over, thumb it over, and highlight the menu in question. Transmitter selection. Click the trigger. So here are the sub menus we're going to deal with, starting with a transmitter selection. And I say that because I want to make sure that the handheld receiver is set to pick up the appropriate transmitter. If we look at the status bar up top, the handheld receiver is currently set to pick up a Falcon Transmitter 5 in band 29. So let's go ahead and highlight that transmitter selection. Here are the three transmitters that currently can be picked up by a Falcon F5 receiver. We've got a FT5P, we have a FT2, and we have a duck track. A duck track is a slender transmitter. It does not have roll, it doesn't have pitch. It's designed to be pushed or pulled through an existing conduit where we can track both the, uh, the line and the depth. Let's get back over here. Let's go ahead and select the FT5P transmitter. Well, because we already had that selected, I did it, and now it's giving me an option to change the down mode or the up mode. Right here, you can see by the X, I currently have this thing configured in the down mode. If I wanted to change it to the up mode, I can go ahead and thumb it up, click it. Now the X transfers up here, and notice how we had a change right here to band 38. Right here is we can uh, enable or disable the pressure functionality of the transmitter. I'm going to thumb it back down, thumb it back down, get to here, click the trigger, takes you to the locate screen. Uh, don't be concerned with the big red triangle that lets us know that we have not yet calibrated. Thumb it down to get back to the menu, main menu, over, over, down. That's the transmitter selection that we're concerned with. Okay, frequency optimization. Frequency optimization is the defining attribute of Digital Control's Falcon technology. In this menu, very simply stated, we're going to scan. We're going to scan for background electrical noise. We're going to select. We are going to select the two least affected bands, and then we're going to pair. We're going to use the handheld receiver to literally program the transmitter to the appropriate bands and then the frequency within that band. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Click the trigger. Now, I've just activated the spectrum analyzer with the transmitter off. The Falcon F5 is scanning for electrical noise or background interference that ranges from 4.5 kilohertz to 45 kilohertz. Its mission is to identify the two least affected bands and then the individual frequency within those bands. So let's go ahead and introduce a little bit of an interference so you guys see what very much what you're going to see on a job site. So I've just introduced an interference. We saw those all those bar graphs, you know, jump. So let me just explain what you're seeing across the bottom. Every one of these bar graphs represents a band. Again, we go from 4.5 kilohertz to 45 kilohertz. That range or that spectrum we divide up into nine different bands. Every one of these bar graphs represents one of those nine bands. The number at the bottom is the name of that specific band, which corresponds to the middle frequency of that band. A band is nothing but a subset of frequencies. So there's band 7, band 11, band 16, all the way down the line. On the left side of the screen, we see a scale. A scale designed to measure background noise or electrical interference, and we do that in dB, decibels. The taller the bar graph, the higher the noise, the more apt we are to have a problem. On the right side, right here, this tells me that band 38, right here, is what already is assigned to the up mode. Down here, band 29 is assigned to the down mode. And what you're seeing across the top here, right here, these are what we refer to as the high water mark. So we would ask that you do this scan 
you know, walk the drill path and go ahead and do this in the, you know, that let's say that the most problematic area that you have, let the Falcon do its job, put it into the dirty environment, scan, and it'll tell you which bands are best in that specific environment. So just for drill, we're going to go ahead and reassign the up and the down mode. And I'm looking at these bands, these high water marks, and let's just say uh, right here. I like this, I like band 20. So I'm gonna use my thumb switch and I'm gonna thumb it over. Band 20 is highlighted, click the trigger. So right here, it's asking me, would you like to assign that in the down mode? If yes, click the trigger. If you wanna put it in the up mode, use your thumb switch, move it up. But I don't, I wanna keep it in the down mode. So there it is, down mode is highlighted, click the trigger. I've just assigned the down mode reassign the down mode to band 20. And now I need to assign the next one. And if I look at these high water marks, the next best one is probably 29. Yeah, I think 29 based on the interference profile that we have established in this for this exercise. I'm gonna thumb it to the right, thumb it to the right. 29 is now highlighted, click it. Once again, it's asking me to confirm you want in the up mode, and we do, click the trigger. Okay, so we've got them both assigned green check green means go okay so we have now assigned both it immediately takes you to the transmitter pairing request which we're going to do right now but before i do that i have to make sure that my transmitter is turned on so here we are at the uh, transmitter pairing request we're going to go ahead and mate the infrared port of the transmitter the little notch with the infrared port of the faceplate on the falcon f5 receiver Click the trigger. So those lines means it's waiting, it's waiting, it's waiting. As soon as it makes connection, green check is good. So I've just mated it. Immediately has taken us to the calibration uh, screen. I'm not ready to calibrate now, so I'm actually going to use uh, slide this over, hit the red X and get out. But this is a good reminder. Unlike systems past where our calibration would last, you know, shot after shot, day after day, week after week. Whenever you pair with Falcon technology, be that a Falcon 2 or a Falcon F5, you are going to need to recalibrate, okay? So this screen comes up automatically because of that fact. If you repair, you will need to recalibrate. So I'm gonna get out of that. I'm not ready to calibrate right now. Back to the main menu. So let's go ahead and go over here. View frequency optimization. I'm going to go ahead and click that trigger. Now there's only a couple sub menus here. I can view the down selection and I can view the up selection. These menus are provided so you can view both of the safe bands in any given environment. This can be used to verify you're still using the best band and frequency option. This will let you know when switching to an alternate band is necessary. Using these menus you can confirm that the bands already selected are appropriate for the next pilot shot. Okay. That's going to save you from having to do those steps over again. Verify that what you've already got is, is going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and click that trigger, see what's going on in the up mode. Okay, so there's our scan for the last time we did the up mode. So is 29 still good? Yeah, 29 is absolutely still appropriate. I would feel very confident if this was the, the interference profile to go back underground with 29. Not a problem. Okay, if we introduce a different interference in that situation... You know, something has changed, maybe like that. Now you're going to go, oh, well, wait a minute. You know, that inner 29 looks pretty, you know, it's up there. We might be better off switching it to 16. And you can do that right here. You highlight it and you click it. But once again, remember, if we go through that step again, we're going to have to repair, which mandates another calibration. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that on over. Let's get out. Let's take a look at that one. Same deal, that's your down mode, exact same situation. Really, this is a historical reference to let you know that the bands you currently have selected are appropriate or not. Let's get back out, get back out. Lastly, we're gonna deal with the transmitter information. So this is a, a, a diagnostic set. We're giving you information that's uh, never been, before been made available on a, on a handheld receiver. Here we are at the transfer information request. Works the same way as uh, we need to mate the infrared port of the 
transmitter with the infrared notch and the faceplate of the handheld receiver. So let's go ahead and click that trigger. Those lines means it's waiting. Once we get it close, there you go. Green check is good. So we've done that. So here's the information we've got available to you. We've got first off the serial number. That is the serial number of the transmitter in question. The down band, I currently have uh, band 20 set and that would be confirmed right up here. The status bar agrees with that. We have 29 as the up band. We have current or amp draw. The voltage, there's a voltage in the battery. Uh, of course, uh, you know, these brand new C cells have slightly more than 1.5 volts. So that's, those are a new set of batteries. The temperature, current temperature is 79 Fahrenheit. The maximum temperature that this transmitter has ever seen in its existence is 99 Fahrenheit. Version, well, that's a software, firmware, hardware configuration. And then we have the region. The region is important because DCI breaks the, the world up into six different regions. The transmitter region has to match handheld receiver's region or you will not have communication. Okay, so if, there, if you are having a problem, just remember that the, the, the regions need to be the same. And over here again is merely just the name of the product, the transmitter again. Click the trigger. Okay, we're back to the main menu. So there you go. Look for other DCI videos that deals with other aspects of the Falcon F5 and other DCI products. Thank you.